In Australia, current life expectancy is around 8 years. From the age of 40, the crystalline lens inside your eye starts to change significantly. This means that many people will spend almost half of their lives without optimum eyesight. Hi there, my name is Human, and I'm helping you keep your vision as you age. I'm using computer-aided numerical methods to model the mechanical behavior of the crystalline lens and how it changes as you age. Basically, what happens is that when you age, the crystalline lens becomes harder and harder. And this phenomenon leads to an accommodative dysfunction called presbyopia, uh, also known as old-sightedness. When this happens, your eye is not able to accommodate to near vision. What happens during accommodation is that when you bring a reading material close to your eye, the brain detects it and uh, tries to change the shape of a tiny lens inside your eye and by pulling it or releasing it and this way it will uh, change its focal length so it can bring uh, any reading material into focus. We believe that presbyopia should be treated as a disease that can be cured, not another inevitable consequence of aging. So we're trying to characterize a polymer gel to replace the natural contents of the crystalline lens and in this way hopefully we will be able to cure presbyopia or old sightedness. Implementation of numerical methods allow us to avoid uh, experimental labor, risks and costs and also it helps by predicting the effectiveness of a proposed treatment before say doing the actual surgery and that's where my research comes in. My research is a part of a big collaboration between the University of New South Wales, the Brain Hold and Vision Institute in Sydney, and uh, the Bascom Palmer Eye Institute in University of Miami. So basically what happens is that the Miami group and the Brain Hold and Vision Institute group provide us with the experimental data on the lens and uh, we pretty much work on the engineering side of it. The outcomes of my research has been submitted to the Journal of Biomechanics and Modeling in Mechanobiology and I also presented it uh, at the annual meeting of the Association for Research in Vision and Ophthalmology, ARVO and I also had the chance to talk uh, at the biannual meeting of the Accommodation Club in Miami. The next and the most challenging step in my research would be the implementation of the polymer gel to somehow replace the natural contents of the lens to uh, reverse the age-dependent and progressive loss of accommodation.